あらあらまあまあこんにちは Hey, hello everyone. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, my brother and sister. How are you? Hope you guys are doing great as always because today we're gonna be featuring the Kenja no Mago. Episode 10. Yeah, this is the episode 10, guys. We're gonna continue from the previous episode, which is, you know, the episode of the engagement party and everything, bro. That's really wholesome. And I must say, like, the development is there, though. I mean, I feel, you know, I feel really happy that, you know, to see Cecily and also Shin, you know, together like that. And I'm hoping, though, I'm hoping, like, in the future, we will see the marriage, too. I mean, who knows, though. But I mean, this is the episode 10, by the way. So I think, like, Maybe uh, okay. So are they have? Uh, sorry, are they gonna give to? Uh, sorry, are they gonna give the second season to us though? That's the question. Is there any information though about the second season about this anime? Because I think like one season is not enough though. I mean, this is episode ten by the way, and last episode is episode nine, which is like, you know, based on my you know my observation right now was like. It is not enough, though. I mean, the war and everything. Like, yeah, they still have so many stuff to explain, and it will be a good idea if they also expand this to the next season, right? So, yeah, I was wondering, is that you know, is that exist? I mean, like the second season. So, like, I think like I'm gonna looking for uh, the information for that. So, yeah. Or maybe if you know about this, please tell me in the comment about the information. So yeah, guys. And last episode, yeah, I think the training camp also, you know, going ham and everything. And we see so many kind of, you know, sorry, so many、uh, Shin's friends also learn, you know, really fast. And their magic are now are really immense. And I, I'm expecting like, you know, more kind of, you know, like. More kind of development on the magic, you know. Like, I mean, you know, in in personal, that that's what I'm saying. Like, I want to see, you know, one by one what they can do, especially like what you know what they are master, you know, at the magic. So yeah. Well, I think that's it, guys. Without further ado, let's go to the episode. Okay. <laughs> Flying. Oh my gosh. Of course. The opai first. Oh, gotcha. So they're not really flying. So the one who control is Shin. Oh. But I'm pretty sure they can, though. You know, soon. Okay. Oh my God! Why the? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> why she? <laughs> yeah, I was I was questioning like my brain like processing why she show that to them. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> Don't forget to pay. <laughs> Switch out. Oh my god! New innovation again. Mm-hmm. Oh, so cute. Okay. Okay. So, well, let's see though. Let's see what kind of, yeah, what kind of development that they're gonna show to us in this episode. I was, uh, you know, I was hoping this is gonna be war though, but. Maybe they still have something to to show to us. Never mind about that. Yeah, I feel like this show needs the second season, though. Like the fact that the story can be, you know, expanded really wide, you know. Because the thing about Isekai, the root, whatever it is, like. You still can keep expanded. <laughs> I 
I use magic for you. I always need your magic. I use magic forever. All right. Let's go. Imperial Castle. Gotcha. Last stone has fallen. Oh boy. Well. Mm. That's disgusting. Oh, uh, yo. That's pretty effective. Many commoners are being victims. Oh. Mm. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Okay. Well, in my mind though, he's gonna targeting Shin, but... Interesting. <laughs> Take over the world. This is dangerous, actually. Letting him free like that, bro? Oh my gosh. Overthrowing the empire. Hmm. Tell me. Oh, the story? Oh my god, two years ago. Oh, that's him! Stradius, Oliveira von Stradius. Okay. Okay, this is... I never see this coming though. But thank god they wanna explain this. Like what kind of person he is before. Okay. Oh wow, he was a good man before. What? Earth hide kingdom, he said. Oh wow, he has a wife. Yo, he married.
Oh wow. Blue Sphere Empire. Oh wow. That's why. That's why he want to overthrow the Blue Sphere Empire. Because these people are just ass. Evil person, guys. Evil person. Evil people. Of course, this bastard. So that was the. S oh wow. All of a sudden. But that's a trap, though. How are you gonna... Damn. The wife known the thing that will happen to him. He should listen to her though. Oh my god, my head hurt, bro. My head hurt. Please don't. Please don't do something. Well, I don't know why, but I always got this kind of feeling when I watch Isekai, though. Oh my gosh. I hope so. I hope he didn't, he didn't you know, got changed to demon or something like that, bro. What the fuck? Oh no, no. He's sketchy as fuck though, look at that. Oh my god. Wow. And their people gonna hate him for sure. What kind of bullshit that he? This asshole. Fuck you. Please don't do something that gonna piss, piss me off. If they... Oh my god. I was worried about the wife though. That's why I, you know, I keep saying this. Because they might... course dude oh my god oh wow 
Yep, rumor spreads so damn fast. Even if they are not using internet. <sighs> Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Dude, don't. And he's still on the way. My head really hurt right now. <sighs> Fucking people, dude! <sighs> I swear to God, that was... That was... What the hell? I mean, those people are stupid. Like, literally, that's what I want to say. Dude, don't tell me. You people are dumbass. I would not bl I would not blame him for killing these people, bro. I mean these people right now though. The setup is really messed up. Those people are really damn stupid. That's what I want to say. Fucking dented. <sighs> yeah, that's him. He realized that. And that's why he wants to revenge. Oh my gosh. Damn, dude. That's painful as hell. So dumb, dude. So dumb. Yeah, I'm with him in this, you know, in this one. Like, why would you? Oh, man. Killing someone that you love, bro? Oh shit. Oh, oh. Oh my god, he also Yep. There it is. Holy And that's how he became demonoid, right? Yep. Wow. Wow. Yes. And that's how it is. Look at that. Bro. I mean, he's... His transformation is really dope, though. Yeah. I also understand that, too. Even if I, you know, he's the violent here, but...
new objective. Hmm. Maybe my guess will be right though. Targeting Shin maybe? Kingdom of Sweet. Okay. Oh. Yep. My guess was right. This guy Zest is really yo. Yeah, he's smart though. In order to pay Shin. Oh. Damn you. Okay. Wow. Look serious. <laughs> August von Erlsheid. Hmm. Crown Prince. Nice. Oh. Oh, wow. That fast. Oh, it is time. It is time to fuck some demons, you know. Neighboring, mm. Yep. Let's go, bro. Grandson of the hero Merlin Wolford. Yep. All of them, you know. All of them. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's. What? Yo, the transformation, what an epic, yes, you too, bro, like, why? Name of our team. <laughs> Study group. <laughs> okay, let's think about the name, though. Mm. <laughs> like, you should decide the name before, right? I mean, ultimate magic, what? Oh my gosh. The ultimate magicians. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Yo, Aug is an ass. Bro, I kind of like it, okay. Oh my god. Ultimate Magicians. That's pretty nice though. Yep, they're flying. Here, all of them now are flying. Nice! Finally, finally, like, bro, this is about to be a war after this, right? I mean, the war between the demonoid, of course. Holy. But, yeah, the 
the main thing in this uh, this episode that really hit me is the backstory of Oliver Storm. Like that's for sure because I think like the whole not the whole though, I mean like ten episodes uh, sorry ten minutes then about ten minutes or more I think like it is you know it is showing uh, Oliver Storm's backstory, which is he's actually from a noble like a noble magician i think like yeah because and he's also uh i think like i don't know i think like i misunderstand uh this like he's from the earth's head kingdom maybe and at that time when uh, the situation is really difficult and everything he helps people right he helps people and everything and until the Blue Sphere Empire was like, okay, this guy is just, you know, like, we cannot let him do this good, well, you know, good thing to people and everything. Because Blue Sphere Empire is pretty fucked up, though, you know, like, they do everything to bring down people. Oh, my God. Yo, this is, yeah, this is a really great reveal, too. Like, I was not expecting, like, you know... Oliveira, that's the, his real name right there. It is not Oliver, but Oliveira back then. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, um, I think I'm gonna make a quick you know, conclusion for this. I'm not gonna talk too much. So, okay, first impression from this episode um, it's good to see, you know, uh, Oliver's backstory, backstory and also. Uh, the new beginning, right? The new beginning or the launching of you know our team, which is Shin and his friends, and I believe this is gonna be a great war between Shin and his uh, his friends with uh, the demonoid, because yeah, because I think like after overthrowing the Blue Sphere Empire, and I think like Oliver has no more objective right so because there is no objective he was like okay i think like it is you know it is done like just for you know overthrowing this kingdom and i'm done with this you know but then that's not gonna be the end of the demonoid of course right because the demonoid uh, sorry the demonoid needs more objective or need to uh to be ordered maybe yeah because i mean oliver is the one who summoned them or the uh, the, the one who create them so like yeah, after that, the demonoid just, you know, some of them are just doing whatever they want, I think, like killing people maybe. But that's not, you know, not a good thing to do because like, you know, for, I mean, for us, for a normal human, not a demonoid though, like we will think, okay, this is gonna be a problem because they will eat people, they will kill, you know, kids, you know, like girls, women and everything, like they will even you know take uh, take over the world in the future and we cannot let this happen you know and yeah after that like oliver also explaining the backstory and blah blah that happened to him before he was in the noble i think like like a noble magician or something like that and he's helping people he was a good man before and suddenly like what we saw earlier he just trans got transformed into a demonoid by himself because that kind of, you know, that overflowing feelings, hatred, you know, sadness, sorrow, and everything. At the same time, he was like, okay, I think like, you guys, you people, you know, I mean, people in the Isekai, though, I'm not referring, it, it doesn't refer to you people, but people in the Isekai right there uh, at, the, at that kingdom, y'all so dumb, like, really dumb. And I think like, that's, you know, at the really top of his feeling and he was he wasn't able to control it anymore and he was like okay i'm really done with this i'm done with everyone i'm done with you know my family because they kill my wife and everything bro it is so sad i see her uh, his wife like that bro i already have a feeling before you know like when i when i see some scenes that you know really sketchy and everything and always showing the same character so many times and then in my mind right there it was like okay this woman or this person is gonna die and yeah like the fact that they also killed the why did why did they kill the woman though i could why did they kill you know oliver's wife that's that's still that's still cringy in my mind though right i mean you can't just you know burn the house maybe like just burn the mansion and let the wife you know go out and everything 
They kill a woman, dude. They kill a woman, a pregnant woman. That's insane. Like, why would you do that? Like, I also saying like, those people are just dumb as hell. Like, why would you do that? Like, people in the isekai, I mean like, those people are just so dumb to say. I never lie about that because like, the fact that people in the isekai always like, you know, like, awkwardly dumb and everything bro that's and it's really crazy to see how Blusfia kingdom or the empire really set you know really set a trap for him really well and the rumor spread so fast even if you know even they are not using internet they are not using uh reddit they are not using facebook they are not using twitter and everything like it already spread the whole you know in the whole village i believe Holy cow, dude! Like I think at Plus Via Empire, at that time, like I would, you know, I w I won't blame Oliver, you know, for killing the king of the Plus Via Kingdom, you know. I mean, at the beginning, I was like, okay, why, you know, why would he, you know, overthrowing the Plus Via Kingdom? And I was thinking like maybe he wants the throne because if he has a throne, then he can order people, right? If he can command the entire kingdom. But no, that's not the main objective. The main objective is killing the king. Like killing that dude was the you know the real satisfaction for him. Because in the past, that dude was the main file uh, the, you know, the main feeling for that one. Oh my god. I I'm totally speechless though, like seeing how Oliver can change that fast. Like from a good person before he can transform into that kind of person i mean he's not a person anymore though but i mean a demonoid because his you know his magic is so tremendously you know huge and after those feelings just you know corrupted him and he cannot control it and yeah it blows up and like yeah that's it because he cannot control it well and the power just control his entire body and soul oh my goodness yeah, I'm I'm really done with this episode, guys. Like totally, I was I was so pissed. Like, why would you kill a pregnant woman? Like, I, okay, like I think like I I need to I need to say this again though. Like, to you know to make a, a justification, just you know just just saying that uh, three things that I really hate: killing kids, killing women, and killing uh, older people or hurting older people these three are my main concern in the isekai or in the in any anime not only in, in the isekai though in any anime like why would you do that that's the stupid way to to do in the anime but other than that though i mean it is part of the story it is part of the plot of the story i mean i cannot blame the writer to write that but yeah that's it's pretty hard to see something like that bro but i do respect how the story is going and it is good to see something like that too i mean it is also a learning for us too like when you know a kingdom or a country can do something like that like indirectly but i mean i'm not saying who, what what country to do that but it is always a mystery for that so yeah guys thank you so much for tuning in with me in this episode i'm really glad to see this episode with you so yeah have a good day ahead guys thank you so much and i'll see you next time